quite special. Um, being someone who's proud of their heritage and uh, the culture, and I think just the sacrifice uh, that my parents made moving across the ditch in, in order to provide the life that I get to live now. I'm, it's one I'm forever grateful and probably in debt for um, for a long time. I think the smallest sacrifice I can make is um, going back and, and playing for my country. And it's probably going to be one of the proudest moments uh, for my family, but um, I think for us as a nation, this is something that we all uh, look forward to. I think that's been the goal for us for many years. Um, you know, we've certainly had a lot of guys, including myself, pledge their allegiance to Samoa. It's quite hard when you walk away um, from the opportunities to represent Australia or New Zealand. Um, I think the sacrifice that you know we're making is certainly um, probably outweighs the financial benefits that you do get playing for those Tier One nations, but. Uh, the rewards we get for growing the game, um, having that next generation look look up to us, as we are probably certain role models in within our own uh, clubs and and in competition. I think it's quite the direction that we want to be heading in. We're a very family and culture driven uh, nation, but I think being able to be on a platform and represent is probably going to be the, the biggest thing for us and that's a kid who's back in Samoa or back in Australia or New Zealand who are going to be able to watch, um, I guess watch us showcase what we have to offer in the World Cup is certainly something that we're probably going to be most proud of. Oh, we can't go past our first game. It's against England. We're playing in their in their backyard, and uh, certainly it's going to be a packed St James Park uh, Stadium. I think it holds about fifty odd thousand, so it'll probably be fifty odd thousand supporting England. <laughs> um, you know, it's going to be a great atmosphere. But um, in terms of the international game, uh, we haven't been able to play uh, over you know the past three years or, or so, and um, we're definitely just looking forward to enjoying every moment. quite hard to go past uh, Joseph Suali'i who's pledged uh, allegiance to Samoa and, and probably turned his back on Australia but um, he certainly showcased why he's the winger, top winger in the NRL so what better way than to do it on the world stage and uh, the World Cup doesn't get any bigger. Enormously, um, you know, I think to be able to share the stage with them and drive, um, you know, the competition that they're trying to grow is probably going to have more, I guess, of that social impact with the rugby league community. Uh, we all also understand how much rugby league is a language that we all speak that everyone gets to enjoy and um, what better way to do it with the women's and the wheelchair.